Cousins, a steal and a breakaway. Dylan Cousins, get on goal. Cousins, scores! Hello everyone, I'm Andy Liu from Future Consideration and today we'll take a closer look at 2019 NHL Draft Top Prospect Dylan Cousin. Cousin has been a consensus top 5 pick for the upcoming draft since June and all indicates it will stay that way for the rest of the season. After a strong Linka Gretzky accumulating 5 points in 5 games, the Canadian center has currently 14 goals and 36 points in 27 WHL games for 1.33 points per game. Just for comparison, in their U18 season, Nolan Patrick had 1.42 points per game, Cody Glass had 1.36 points per game, and Matthew Borzol had 1.3 points per game. But outside of his shiny stats, what makes him such a promising prospect? Well, let's look at every aspect of his game. That means his skating, shooting, passing, stick handling, defensive game, physicality, hockey IQ, and competitiveness. Let's start with his skating. Cousin is one of the best skaters of the draft. He has a jaw-dropping acceleration and an incredible top speed. He seems to be able to shift gear and separate himself from anybody at his will. When he finds a lane to the other end of the ice, the opponent has a tough time stopping him. He has a very fluid stride and some slick edges too. Cousin loves to use his speed to create multiple control zone breakouts and entries. But there is still room for improvement as he loses the puck or gets easily stopped by the defenseman too often. With his skating alone, Cousin can dominate games and create plays for himself. I will definitely give him 5 stars. Let's pass to his shooting. Cousin possesses an incredibly powerful slap shot on reception that destabilizes goalies. He also owns a very precise wrist shot. He prefers to shoot on the left side if that's relevant. With his good strength and shot on reception, it's to no one's surprise that Ledgebridge forward got some great finishing skills. Cousin's shot is very complete as he can score and create dangerous chances from anywhere and with any type of shot. He currently has 14 goals in 27 WHL games this season after putting up 22 goals in 57 games last year. I will definitely give him 5 stars. Let's now take a look at his passing. Cousin has a great vision and one of the best from 2019 eligibles. His passing skills are above average as I found them very inconsistent. While he can make precise neutral zone passes, he also happened to miss his passes more often than I would want from a top prospect. I don't think he's a pug hog at all, but I would like to see him open the play more often as he becomes less predictable to his opponent. He distributes the puck well on the power play with his great passions. A lot of potential with his passing, but I will give him 4 stars for now. Let's now discuss about his stick handling. Cousin has some slick and quick hands. He dangles goalies and breakaway easily and his fast-paced puck handling helps him go through the opposing defense without getting touched. He can also make room for himself and dodge poke check in the offensive zone with his quick reaction and NI coordination. His puck control sometimes seems off as he can lose the puck with simple stick handle in rushes. But that's not as recurrent as seeing him completely dangle an opponent. His pass reception is also very average. I still think Cousins' hands are some of the best from any 2019 eligibles. I will give him 4 stars. Let's pass to his defensive game. Cousin reads the play well in his own zone and stays involved in all situations. He has a great positioning and an active stick, but he lacks a bit intensity. Overall, I would say he does a good job in his own zone though. The Canadian center always put efforts to backcheck. Cousin also loves to defend while backskating, which is rare to see from a forward. Nothing exceptional, but it's an interesting approach. He also won 49% of his faceoff this year. I would have to give him 4 stars. Let's look at his physicality. Cousin is 6 foot 3 and weights 195 pounds. He can throw a big hit, but it's really rare to see him actually go out of his way to hit his opponent. He has a great puck protection and is able to cut to the net easily because of it. 
it's almost impossible to touch his puck. Surprisingly enough, when he is not in possession of the puck, he is easily pushed around. Cousin gets 4 stars for his physicality. Let's now discuss about his hockey IQ. Cousin's hockey senses are great. He reads the play and positions himself well. I don't think he's a puck hog at all, but I would like to see him open the play more often as he becomes less predictable to his opponent. That said, he still understands the game quickly and his decision making is quick and usually good. I'm giving him 4 stars. Let's finish by looking at his competitiveness level. Cousin is a bit inconsistent with his intensity as one game he puts more effort than anybody on the ice but the game after that he just seemed uninterested. Overall, I would say he's more often competitive than not. At his best, Cousin wins his loose puck battles and put great pressure on the opponent. Just look at the intensity he can put to make a line change. His intensity defensively could be better though. I would give Cousin 4 stars. So in my opinion, Cousin has an incredible potential and definitely deserves to be talked as a top prospect. He has a lot of little aspects to work on, but that can all be easily done. Honestly, I think he's very complete and got all the tools to become a number one center at the NHL level. I see him making his NHL debut in the 2020-21 season. Future consideration add him in their fifth spot in their most recent ranking and I think that's a very fair ranking. But anyway, what's your opinion on Dylan Cousin? Is he a top 5 prospect or am I wrong and he shouldn't be considered as a top prospect? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more NHL draft related videos and click here to watch my previous scouting report on 2019 eligible. I'll see you for the next one. Here now, here I come, you can't hide. Ready or not, here I come.